tonight. He is an explosive playmaker for the Red Raiders. Committed to Alabama. He is number one in our Chattanooga Times Free Press Dynamite Dozen. Uh, 470 yards receiving on the year, six touchdowns. And again, plays best when needed most. I thought that was a tremendous compliment from Coach Kimry. And let's face it, the student body, the athletes on the field, the rivalry. I mean, this place is a cauldron of just atmosphere. And I'm telling you, like Dave said one time, if this doesn't light your fire, your wood's wet. And there's no <laughs> doubt about that. Kickoff goes into the end zone, and Baylor will start at their own 20-yard line. Keep an eye on Charlie Edgeworth. He's just a sophomore, but 6'7", 320 pounds. Immediately, he goes to the air. It's Amari Jefferson for a gain of a couple out across the 25-yard line. The uh, Virginia Tech commitment and a big part of their defense. They drop it off out of the backfield to Mills Knight, and he's knocked down immediately as soon as he makes the catch. That's Mateau again, number five, jacked up for this. Converting 58% this season on third downs. We talked about McCauley's success last week at 27% on the year. Muschamp throws downfield, incomplete pass, fourth down. Buteau makes the play again. That's three and three plays. Shows you what kind of, it makes you think all day this kid has been waiting and waiting line for Macaulay School. And here's McMahon on first down. Picks his way forward. He'll get a nice push out across the 45. Stopped by Quincy White on well, defense. Well, that line back. Gentle is the H back at the top of your screen. Now they'll bring him over to the bottom of the screen. St. Hilaire wants Big to throw pressure. pressure, slips away again, and right into the arms of one of the big defensive linemen. Was it John Amufa? John it was. Amufa. It sure was. This kid's a freshman, 5'11", 237, a very special player. Coach Kimry just kept on talking. Third down to extend their drive. Here's McCauley on a third down. St. Hilaire on the quarterback draw. He's got the first down. Across midfield, he gets into Baylor territory. Finally stopped by T.J. Fields, but like you said, not until he had another very unique situation. St. Hilaire off play action, quick throw, complete. He gets inside the 45-yard line. It was Matthew A. Bear made the catch. Matthew A. Bear, a solid receiver for McCall. Seven for A. Bear. Uh -oh. Bad snap goes over the head of St. Hilaire. He'll fall on it back across the 40-yard line. It was Nolan Sargent that covered it. We saw all this happen a little bit. Must champ. Over the middle, complete. Stuck hard at the 45 yard line, but a nice throw and catch. It was Armani Jefferson. Carson Lawrence, Lawrence almost stopped, like you said, a nice Amari stick, but not Jefferson. until Whit Muschamp finds Amari Jefferson. He'll scramble now. Throwing deep downfield, Jefferson's open, and he makes the catch. Touchdown, Baylor. Now you see why he's going to Alabama. He got behind the defense so quickly they couldn't do anything about it. The Chattanooga dental care touchdown. What a throw by man. Looks for a hole and find one. Carry some guys. McMahon. Nice gain before he's brought down by Carey. He gets eight on first down. And here he comes again. Straight ahead, he's got the first down out across the 30-yard line. I'm sure that Ralph Potter and their offense coordinator, Joel Bradford, 81 graduate of Macaulay School. Big Bear out of bounds across the 45-yard line. Penalty flag coming out Macaulay. This is Tabato, and he's out of bounds. He'll get about eight or so on first down. Two costly penalties for Baylor on this drive to set McCauley up inside the Dr. Pepper Maroon zone. St. Hilaire, he will run. Inside the five goes Jay St. Hilaire before he's chased down by Quincy White. Quincy White, just the pursuit was quick. McMahon. Touchdown, Blue Tornado.
Paul Sweet just got him. It was well designed, well blocked for the Chattanooga Dental Care touchdown. And that is Javon McMahon's 12th touchdown of the year. Thinks that they could have controlled a little bit better. And that's why it sticks in their crawl so bad, I think. Muschamp brings LeBlanc in motion, and they will run with Mills Knight, and he's got a foot race. Mills Knight, one man to beat. Touchdown, Baylor. One play, 80 yards, Shakai Mills Knight. What a speedster, man. Chattanooga Dental Care touchdown, but whoa, he shows a fifth gear right there. Chicago. They've gone on quite a winning streak since they've made that trip in that opening season loss, and he feels like it started with that trip to uh, to Ireland where they developed some chemistry and camaraderie with this team. St. Hilaire on the keeper. No doubt about that. You got number one, McCauley, versus number two, Baylor. Blue Tornado unbeaten, and they're at home. And here's McMahon, and again, he'll be slung down. Joe Lowenberg among a host of... Baylor players on that stop. We talked about Baylor and that decision time for the veteran head coach of the Blue Tornado. It is fourth down and one from the Baylor 49. McCauley is going to go for it. Here's McMahon straight ahead. He's got the first down and more inside the 45. A huge Key. And for the yardage that he got. St. Hilaire comes up under center now. First time we've seen this. Here's the reverse. toss and the reverse. Oh, and a throw. Sargent, the throwback to St. Hilaire inside the 20 and out of bounds. Wow, well designed and just catching a Baylor defense on their heels a little bit. Jay St. Hilaire looks pretty good as a receiver. Yeah, he? he's a big boy. McCauley at the Baylor 20. Early second quarter. McMahon inside the 15 and finally wrestled to the turf. Nelson McKnight. See him looking over to get the play looks like they've got it st. Hilaire he will keep it stop shy of the five mark him down at about the seven yard line big hit from TJ Fields it's enough for the first down and goal and here's st. Hilaire to throw for the end zone oh. making the one-handed grab Carson Lawrence oh my goodness they're gonna call him for Dead ball personal foul, but what a one-handed grab by Carson Lawrence. Also a Vanderbilt commit. The Chattanooga Dental Care uh, touchdown. We got to see that again, baby. 6'2", 180 pounds. And we'll see it here after the extra point. But there you see Carson Lawrence kind of lost. And 11 plays. Food City kickoff. But once again, that's one of the best catches I've ever seen in high school football. Short kickoff, picked up just inside the 30, down the near sideline. He gets out of bounds. Cam Sparks on the return. McCauley, you'll see him. Sure. There he is on the outside. Jefferson with the flea flicker deep downfield, and it is broken up. Was aiming for Cam Sparks. Put it up into double coverage, and McCauley there. Five yard line. LeBlanc comes in motion. Here's Mills Knight tripped up. Shy of the 40. Bear Cortez again on the stop. May have been just a shoestring tackle, but he got him down because there was a big hole there, and we've seen Shakai. Zane Rastelli, Amari Jefferson, Cam Sparks to the bottom of your screen. Shakai Mills Knight in the backfield with Whit Muschamp. And it's Muschamp, the keeper, first down. Muschamp to the 20-yard line. Fantastic ball fake. Everybody in the house thought Shakai Mills Knight was getting the football. And there you go. He may lead all of Ireland as well. He threw four touchdown passes <laughs> in that game. 
And he's under pressure here. He'll drop it off and it goes in and out of the hands of Zane Rostelli. You don't often see Zane Rostelli uh, miss a ball that touches his hands. I think he can come down with that. Second down and 10. Muschamp again, the keeper spinning inside the 15. Lawrence made the stop, number three. Third down and goal, just inside the 10. Muschamp has time, throws, caught. They keep him out of the end zone. It's fourth down and goal at the one. Max LeBlanc made the catch, and McCauley denies him the goal line. Sparks and Rostelli split out wide to the right side. LeBlanc goes in motion. Muschamp, the rollout, looking to throw, has a man open. Couldn't make the catch. It's incomplete intended for Cam Sparks. Wow, you don't see that often. Cam Sparks just quite dropped it, but a nice touch throw from Whit Muschamp. Sparks just couldn't find a handle on it, and McCauley's defense with a huge with a nice nice defensive play on that second and ten again from their own two yard line St. Hilaire rolling throwing again downfield and this time it's caught at the 30 yard line pass was pulled in by Enrique James LeClaire great hands by LeClaire Time we've called his name tonight, I believe, on the offensive side of the ball for McCauley. Here's McMahon. Tries the right side, and McMahon gets out to the 40-yard line. Pick up the run by Javon McMahon. St. Hilaire. Caught. It's James LeClaire again to midfield. Stuck by T.J. Fields. And a little bit of extracurricular after the play. Fields is like, what do I do? I didn't do anything. Especially if you're going to do something after the play on the McCollum sideline. Now he hits him. Great shot. Wraps him up. Takes him down. Maybe a little smack talking in there. After the play. his leg. Red Raider 36 with two minutes remaining in the first half. St. Hilaire, off play action. Big pressure. pressure. Steps up, throws for the end zone. Has a man not able to make the catch. He's going for Matthew Bear and a penalty flag thrown in the end zone. Looks like they're gonna call it on Joshua Hampton. Yeah, number eight. There was some contact. Fresh set of downs at the 21-yard line. Under a minute left, first half. Our Jacks halftime report coming up in a minute 53. Handoff goes to McMahon, and McMahon to the five. McMahon, wow. touchdown McCauley. What an incredible run by Javon McMahon. Man, that is a nice Chattanooga Dental Care touchdown. Ran through people, ran over people. Gets the ball in the end zone. Just the tip of the football in the end zone. Sergeant Matthew A. Bear wide to the right side at the bottom of the screen. St. Hilaire for the end zone. Broken up and batted down and a penalty flag thrown in the end zone. Again, it was Joshua Hampton that broke up the, the pass. McMahon with St. Hilaire in the backfield. And it's St. Hilaire looking for room. Jay St. Hilaire stretches, and he will be denied. Mark wow, him down close. at the one-yard line. Great defensive stand by Baylor on that play. And it's 19-14. McCauley leads. We've got a minute 35 left to play until our Jacks halftime report. Let's get a look at the... Now with 125, how do you approach this with your Eric Kimry and the Baylor offense? Well, I guess we'll find out. 
Muschamp has time now. Pressured. Muschamp Big in pressure. trouble. Spins away from one. Could not spin away from Bear Court last year. Here he is off play action. Throws. Middle of the field. Complete. Jefferson. Amari Jefferson. Caught from behind inside the 30-yard line. And Baylor converts on a third and 15. Muschamp loads up. He's going for the end zone, and it's caught, and a touchdown, Baylor, Zane, Zane Mistelli. Mistelli. Man, what a catch. We talked to you as a point guard in basketball. What a catch for the Chattanooga Dental Care. Touchdown right in the corner. Fantastic throw by Whit Muschamp. And Rastilli. Overflow crowd, a packed house with a full moon overhead. And a Food City kickoff. And Cowan will put it into the end zone for the touchback. Yeah, and yeah. It's been big plays for Baylor tonight. From McCauley, it's been more about those methodical drives. Hilaire under center. Off play action. The rollout. Pump fake now. Looking downfield. Throws deep. And it is incomplete. Carson Lawrence is there, and it's broken up by Joshua Hampton. Well played by Hampton. You see him celebrate that. Didn't necessarily turn around and spot the ball. Just made sure the defender couldn't catch it. He was right in his grill. Did a good job of. Mills Knight in the backfield. Low snap for Muschamp. Comes up firing. Has a man, and Amari Jefferson got across the 35 to about the 36. Pretty well defended by Marcellus Barnes. Champ, he's thrown for 167 yards, 11 out of 14. And accuracy is his game. Well, and we've seen it on full display tonight. Has time, loading up, he's going deep. Got, Got Jefferson, Jefferson. Oh. is picked off. Intercepted by McCauley Carson Lawrence. Lawrence, the one-handed catch guy, now comes up with a huge second-half interception to port the Baylor drive. Just a little overthrown. First turnover of the game, and the Blue Tornado come away with the takeaway. That is shut out NBA last week, 35 to nothing. They only punted one time in that 35 nothing win a week ago. St. Hilaire, Big pressure, pressure. sack. St. Hilaire brought down on the sack. That was Brady Alunga Bissalele. St. Hilaire on a third down and long. McMahon in the backfield. St. Hilaire running out of time. He'll drop it off. It's picked off. At the 15, to the 10, and he's finally pulled down. It's Joel Lowenberg, his first interception of the year. Lowenberg and the uh, first turnover of the game. Now, there's going to be a penalty marker. We'll see if it's after the play, but that's just pressure on Jay. Three touchdowns. Again, LeBlanc goes in motion. Mills Knight. Nice gain inside the 20. And that will set up the Red Raiders in the Dr. Pepper Maroons. 14-yard line. LeBlanc again goes in motion. Here comes Mills Knight behind the block of LeBlanc. And he gets to about the 11. Mills Knight on the run. Stop made by Phil Bateau again. Yeah, number the keeper, Muschamp, to the five. Marcellus Barnes gets Muschamp a stop. The Muschamp keeper. may have gotten the end zone. Tackle by Marcellus Barnes, the junior. And a power eye backfield for Baylor. Muschamp under oh. center, and he lost it. He dropped the snap, and Muschamp will fall on it. Quick enough just to fall on it and live to play another day. They feel like he's good from about 50. And this kick is up, and it is plenty good off the foot of Cooper Cowan. And Baylor will extend the lead.
It is 24 to 19. Red Raiders lead the Blue Tornado. Macaulay Ball when we return. Dr. Pepper, Friday Night Rivals, presented by 21 before Baylor won it last year. So you're looking at your last four state champions. St. Hilaire. Behold. Nice run by Jay St. Hilaire. And a first down for Macaulay. Knocked down by Alunga Visalele. Run good for 14 yards. St. Hilaire probably gets more than that. First down. That was impressive. First down and 10, Macaulay. The 43-yard line on their own end of the field. That was a design screen, and it wasn't there, and St. Hilaire will just have to tuck it and run. That was a screen that was coming to the bottom of the yard line. Almost looked like 19. Ben Darnell just blew that play up, by, 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 you know, looking up field and seeing that they were going to throw a screen, and he was in between the quarterback and the receiver. All play action. St. Hilaire has time. Going deep. deep middle of the field. Has a man, and it's broken up. Enrique James LeClaire, the intended target, and Tyler Rice there for Baylor. Well defended by Tyler Rice, the junior safety. Just never let Enrique James LeClaire get behind him. Ran with him foot by foot. Five. Look at Tyler Rice. 23 tackles and an interception on the year. Javon McMahon tripped up in the backfield. And that is Balin. Uh, Balin Rendesi made the stop. I mean, just an absolute shoestring tackle, but it was good enough to get Javon McMahon. You see how frustrated he Trailing by five as we open up this fourth quarter of play. A fourth down for Baylor. Red Raiders ready to punt it away. Cooper Cowan, he's got a field goal to his credit. Will hit the line drive and try to angle it over towards the far side of the field, right around the numbers, and Baylor will watch it roll down to the five, and that's deep in their own territory. Here's Tabato for the corner. Tabato strung out and then cut down. Nelson McKnight was the one that finished him off. Brady Joyner also number reception. They take over here. St. Hilaire will throw the screen. This is McMahon. And McMahon not able to slip out of the ankle tackle. And a great job again. It was Grady Joyner. Yeah, that's two big plays in a row by Joyner. McMahon can uh, slip out of that initially. They pick up some yardage, but he only really gets about. Third down for McCauley again. The Blue Tornado out of an empty set. St. Hilaire big wants pressure. to throw. Hit from behind. Ball is loose. And it's scooped up, up by Joyner. Joyner again. And a penalty flag has been thrown. It looked like his arm may have been in motion. I mean, we're not going to go to NFL replay or anything here at a high school level, but we'll they see blew it incomplete. We'll see. Rice and Joyner back for a chance to return it. And LeClaire gets away a nice punt. Whoa. All the way back at the, the 35. Touchdown. That's a loose ball. McCauley's got it. It was touched by Rice. And McCauley has it. Second down short. McMahon again makes one miss. And he's wrapped up. It was Quincy White made the stop. And he falls forward to give himself the first down. First down. McMahon to the five. To the end zone. Touchdown, McCauley. Remarkable. Remarkable. That's your Chattanooga Dental Care touchdown. Javon McMahon came out to play before. Was a little gimpy. Then all of a sudden said, man, I'm a football player. You put me back in there and give me the dang ball. I'm going to put it in the end zone. And God, he sure did. A little fourth quarter magic. We come to expect it when Baylor and McCauley meet. And McCauley... Back in front. The two-point conversion attempt. McMahon 
He's in. The two-point conversion is good. And McCauley with the three-point lead with eight minutes left to go. Woo-wee. A barn burner once again. Can't say enough about the guts of that young man. Yeah. In this game, yes, in is. this series, there is no telling what's going to happen in the next eight minutes and 12 seconds. Elliot Arnold to kick it off for McCauley. A high directional kick taken inside the 30. Near sideline, 35. Grady Joyner stepped out of bounds at around the 25, 26 yard. He may, he's got a touchdown. And then Chikai Mills Knight and his speed at the running back position. Let's see which one of these stars do they want to lean on. Mills Knight with 155 yards rushing. Here's the screen to Sparks. And Sparks cut down for a loss. That's Marcellus Barnes, number 11, with a the tackle there to stop. The and if you're tuning in late, Sparks. Virginia Tech commits 16 170. Champ again to throw, has time, now he'll scramble. Looking downfield, throws underneath, complete, and cut down as soon as he makes the catch. It's a first down for Zane Rostelli. Phil Bateau Zane makes Rostelli. the tackle. And that is exactly what Ralph Potter talked about this week. We want to keep him in the pocket. They were worried about Whit Muschamp using his legs to extend plays. Quick throw out to Jefferson, the 45-yard line, as Baylor moves into McCauley territory on the quick. I'm going to put that play in because he's going to take ownership of that play. Muschamp he says he's has going to time. Make going deep. Has a man. Sparks. Sparks makes the catch inside the five-yard line. Mark him at the two. Sparks shows a tremendous pair of hands because really the defender was right there with him. Touchdowns versus two interceptions. I mean, that's the heck of a ratio. You don't often see it that unbalanced. Baylor has turned it over twice. Red Raiders trying to stick it back in for the score. Muschamp again will throw for the end zone. Caught! Jefferson. And Whit Muschamp, 5 of 5 passing on a 5 play, 64 yard drive. Wow, Chattanooga Dental Care touchdown. Amari Jefferson, left side of the end zone. Muschamp put it on the money. Jefferson beat there. On first down, has some time. Going deep. Put it up deep. He's got it. Oh. Look there. Look wow. there. Touchdown. Enrique James LeClaire showed an extra speed there. I mean, blew by the defense. Look. Elliot Arnold to kick it off for McCauley. McCauley has rushed for 140 yards in this game. Jay St. Hilaire, 9 out of 16 passing, 202 yards now. Both quarterbacks over 200 yards passing. And again, we've got a little more than five and a half minutes to go. A high kick, bobbled, taken by Sparks. And Sparks gets to the 27. Carson's headed to Tennessee, and they've got a lot of high hopes for the youngest brother at McCauley. Here's Muschamp again to throw, and again, it's Jefferson out shy of the 35-yard line. Well, the McCauley faithful make noise on this third down for Baylor at their own 36-yard line. Muschamp, being pressured now, backpedaling, incomplete pass, it's fourth down. All right, 4.40 to play, 
Do you kick it and think you can? Shakai Mills Knight has rushed for 155 yards in this game. And that's him on the left hip of Whit Muschamp. Muschamp will throw it. Caught. First down at the 40-yard line in Bay. Kimry told us this week, best hands of anyone he's ever coached, period. Eight touchdown receptions this year. Muschamp under pressure. Muschamp one. slips free. And Muschamp will drop it off for Rostelli. Just about right at the original line of scrimmage. By Marcellus Barnes, Jr. The block in motion. Muschamp to Jefferson. Jefferson coming all the way back across field, and he'll go down back at the 30, a loss of 10. That's just one of those where he, he knows he's very athletic and can probably make something like that happen, but he just couldn't on that play because McCauley's deep. Baylor faced with a third down and 19. Muschamp drops it, picks it up. And it's intercepted. Picked off. Marcella, no, Carson Lawrence. Carson Lawrence with the INT. Third turnover of the night for Baylor. And that thing just started out. A little bit of confusion now. St. Hilaire tries to get him set. Here's the snap. Here's the feed. McMahon. McMahon stacked up over on the far side of the field. Sent him. I'm almost getting too old for this stuff, man. This is just crazy. St. Hilaire on the pitch out. McMahon to midfield and out of bounds. Wanted to stay in bounds, keep the clock running, but he's going to have to be hit by about four guys if that was the case. So he just took it. McMahon. First down. Inside the 45, give him the 44. And that will force Baylor to take their final timeout, the Red Raiders. St. Hilaire will hand it off. McMahon. Javon McMahon inside the 40. Look at, Look the, at push. the push. First down, Javon McMahon. You think these bunch, this bunch doesn't have, like Dave said, They've had it in their crawl for 365 days. That play right there was a micro. As much clock as they can before they have to snap it. St. Hilaire comes up under center. The victory formation and the first kneel down. <laughs> Baylor with three second half turnovers. We'll have more. Dave Keelan will visit with the head coach when we return. Dr. Pepper, Friday Night Rock.